for WrestlingInc.com. Andy Monoski here with Kenny, of course, from the Spirit Squad. Kenny, this is an awesome day. Welcome to WrestleCon. Thank you, buddy. But we are no longer the Spirit Squad. We're the Squad World Order, SWO. Mike Mondo and myself, Kenny. Uh, this is a great day, though. I am glad to be here at WrestleCon. It's cool to see everybody. Uh, I like to see a lot of my old friends. I like to see a lot of old people that I grew up watching. Yeah. So it's pretty neat. Get to meet some of the fans. Yeah. See other companies. I like when other companies yeah. co-mingle. You know what I mean? They coexist. You know, yeah. in some way, it's like well, you have like colliding. a mixture of like you know. I saw like some AEW stuff. I saw um, other companies, uh, Impact, Ring of Honor guys. So it's pretty cool, you know, to see all the different organizations come to one yeah it, it like really seeing is. different wrestlers interact with each other yeah it, so tell us about what's going on right now your bookings uh to kind of help promote us to, you know, with you as well so talk about your career now and how it's shaped up okay me now uh well i just turned 33 this past march um i placed second in a fitness competition so that's looking pretty good i don't know man like i still wrestle um, I do indie shows here and there, but at this point I've been doing it for 20 years, so I'm probably not going to stay around wrestling much longer. Uh, mainly just because I have so much going on, and other, there's other universes out there that treat me with more respect and more appreciation. So I'm kind of leaning toward that. So if I don't get a job sometime soon, I'm just going to probably, you know, use my prime elsewhere. Yeah. As opposed to just staying here and doing the same thing over and over. Yeah, and you were pretty young when you started in WWE, right? Yes, I worked for WWE. Uh, from 16 to 24. I was a junior in high school. <laughs> That's until crazy. I, was 24 years old. I mean, now you don't have to drink a beer at that point, you know? Right, yeah, yeah. I started at 13 overall, now I'm 33, so wow. 20 wow. years doing anything is a long time. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I honestly, I, my personally, I feel like I, I love this business more than the business loves me at times. So I accept that, and it is what it is. Uh, whether this is my last WrestleCon or not, I don't know. Maybe, probably. Yeah, probably. Maybe we'll see what happens. You know, to be determined. But uh, Kenny, <laughs> want to ask you this: WrestleMania weekend, of course, 35th edition, 35th edition. Uh, talk to us about you've had a chance to compete in those events. Uh, favorite WrestleMania moment? My favorite WrestleMania moment. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. Like I've, I've known, I've watched every WrestleMania from one to 16. After that, I kind of fell off the track. But moment, I don't know. Probably. Um, probably when Hogan slammed Andre, I remember it as a kid watching that. I was really young, obviously, but that was cool. That really made me go, whoa, I could probably do this. Not slam Andre, but yeah. entertain people. <laughs> <laughs> now, got to ask you about this especially. I mean, back in those days, the Spirit Squad, of course, was very revolutionary at the time. Nothing's been seen like that before in the business. And so many guys were just so good at the same time in that group. And you look at Dolph Ziggler, Nick Nemeth, of course, he's gone on to some great success. Uh, talk about that, about being something that was so different and unique at the time. Uh, that was really cool, it was different. Uh, Vince brought us into his office and said, I want five male cheerleaders. And I thought it was a joke at first, because growing up I've always been an athlete, and I was touring with them before the Spirit Squad as Ken Doan, you know, just doing my own thing. And I was like, there's no way that's what they want me to do. But lo and behold, that's what they want. So you just do what they want and you make it work and it's different, it's over the top. It, it's not gonna be you know, duplicated, no one's gonna copy it because we'll know where you got it. Right. So right. It's, it's different, it's unique. You know, there's certain gimmicks out there that you can't take, like Doink, like Eugene, yeah. uh, like yeah. the cheerleader, you know what I mean? There's ones that they're just there, we're gonna be a gimmick. Yeah, and I know um, if you could shed some light on what, what happened there with WWE, if you care to tell us, we'd love to hear about it. Uh, I don't know. I don't really make the decisions. I just know that uh, they stopped calling. Wait, which time? The first time or the second time? Well, whatever time you want to tell oh, us. The first time, I don't know. Who knows with that, right? I'm sure there's a lot of stories out there as to what could or would have happened. Uh, the second time they called us out of nowhere, and then after nine weeks, Mark they just Henry. stopped yeah, calling. So. The there you go. World's strongest man. This is my favorite. Mark this is my favorite right, right here. here. Right he, here. Was, he was supposed to be in the squad, too, but he just didn't make it for auditions. <laughs> he couldn't fly off the trampoline, right? <laughs> yeah. Marky just wasn't very uh, marquee worthy. That was amazing. <laughs> That's funny stuff right there, man. But um, last quick question, and thank you so much for taking the time for us here today, and is... Um, this weekend, it's really the, the hallmark weekend for, for everybody and all these promotions, you said it best, all these promotions coming together and really just showcasing sports entertainment and the sport itself. Uh, looking back on your wrestling career, uh, you gotta be quite proud. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. I think so, it could have been worse. Uh, who knows, man, I had fun, I got to travel the world 
and got paid to do it. So I'm thankful for that, and I made a lot of friends in the meantime. So yeah. that won't go away. Awesome, Kenny. Well, thank you so much. And cool, you know, just meeting you today, I got to get a trampoline, man, and jump in like into my house or something. That was always pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, Mondo's still practicing to get over the top rope. So if you figure it out, <laughs> find him, teach him how to do that one. I love it. Appreciate it, guys. Kenny, right here, Russell Cod. We'll see you soon.